Today, most guests wandering near the Casey Jr. Circus Train in Fantasyland are oblivious to the Alpine Chalet on a little hill, half hidden among lush trees. This chalet is the old Fantasyland station of the extinct Skyway to Fantasyland, Skyway to Tomorrowland attraction. Guests who never got to experience the Skyway may find it hard to appreciate its greatness, but great it was, especially back in the 1950s and 60s, when cable suspended gondolas were still a decade away from becoming ambiguous transit systems at ski resorts. The chalet was removed in 2016. Disneyland's souvenir books claim that the Skyway was the first elevated aerial tramway of its kind in the United States. Though a larger and higher elevated aerial tramway, the Skyride had operated at Chicago's Century of Progress Exposition in 1933. Like the People Mover and Monorail, the Skyway was an ambitious attempt to introduce efficient public transportation into Disneyland. Unlike any other attraction, the Skyway afforded guests a lingering view of Disneyland from high above the park. The attraction poster certainly emphasized the ride's vista views, making it look as if guests were hundreds of feet aloft and rising on steeply pitched cables. While the ride was not quite that dramatic, the sight of Disneyland from five stories up in the air was even more breathtaking than it was at ground level, providing a full open air view of the park's vast expanse. The Skyway to Fantasyland and the Skyway to Tomorrowland were really the same attraction, operating in opposite directions. Both Skyways ran on the same cable, both shared the same support towers, and both connected the same two stations in Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. The Fantasyland station had a Swiss theme, though the inscription on the building came from Alice in Wonderland. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky, said the Dormouse. The futuristic station a quarter mile away near Utopia had a more Spartan design. Guests rode in small red, blue, yellow, and green gondolas with flat roofs and no windows. Over the years, the design changed. While the 1956 originals were cylindrical and included only two individual patio-style chairs, by the mid-60s, the gondolas were rectangular and contained benches for four passengers. In the early years, the ride could be taken for either a one-way pass or a seven-minute round trip, but in later decades, all trips were one-way only. The altitude varied depending on where the 42 gondolas dangled along their journey, but usually they averaged a height of between 40 and 60 feet. The central suspension tower, standing tall on the hill where the Matterhorn would be built, topped out at 85 feet. Along the way, guests got incredible views of Tomorrowland and Fantasyland. Because it would block the Skyway's path when built, the Matterhorn was erected in 1959 with a passageway running east-west through its center, enabling guests to make an exciting trip through the mountain's interior. Inside the mountain, guests witnessed bobsleds hurtling through the mountain on their angled tracks. Also on view below the Skyway were the submarine voyage, Alice in Wonderland, the pirate ship restaurant, and Casey Jr. Circus Train. The Skyway was simultaneously a mild sightseeing ride and a bit of a thrill ride. Some guests find it scary to be dangling from a slender cable high in the sky. The bucket sways back and forth whenever the cable goes over a support tower, causing occasional gasps from guests. Stories of severe accidents and even deaths have long swirled around the Skyway. All of these rumors have been exaggerated, however, and none of them pertain to the reasons the attraction finally closed in the fall of 1994. A more probable reason was the irresistible temptation for some guests to spit, litter, or pour beverages over the side of the gondolas onto visitors below. There was also the more serious possibility of an eventual calamity, plus the presence of the steel towers and cables in the charmingly remodeled Fantasyland. After the Skyway's last celebratory run with Mickey and Minnie aboard, the Matterhorn's holes were sealed up, the Skyway towers removed, and the Tomorrowland station disappeared into memory. Welcome to a most exciting adventure, a breathtaking bobsled ride down the icy slopes of the majestic Matterhorn. The cable was 2,400 feet long with 44 gondolas. The Skyway stations were equipped with a large digital meter to gauge wind speed. 
it usually fluctuated between zero and three knots. If the meter hit 12 knots, employees shut the ride down. For dangerous situations in the mid-1970s, Disneyland installed speakers on the Skyway Towers and microphones in the stations. By depressing the all-ride switch, operators could give announcements or warnings from on high. Hosts were to use the device for emergencies only, since upon hearing a deep voice suddenly resounding from the sky, guests typically froze in terror. As such, the device became known as the God Switch. Skyway passengers, please remain seated and keep your hands and arms inside the Skyway cabin. Efforts have already begun to assure your safe exit from the Skyway. Please be ready to follow the instructions of our trained personnel. They will be in touch with you. storage for the Skyway Buckets. Inside the chalet after Skyway closed. This is the Skyway Tower where the Matterhorn was soon to be built. You notice how they're supporting the tower. It's pretty scary stuff. (laughs) 